And one of the leaders of the La Familia drug gang is now behind bars today. Mexican Marines grabbed Jose Maria Chavez, who is the leader of that gang, in the activities in the Mexican state. Mexico State was, on, was the scene of a conf uh, confrontation on Monday in which 22 suspected members, we told you about this yesterday, of the Guerreros Unidos gang were killed in a gun battle with Mexican security troops. The arrest of Chavez appears to be unrelated, though, to that particular shootout. But interesting to note, there does seem to be an increase in activity down there and persecuting these gangs. Now, in Philadelphia, prosecuting, I should say, in Philadelphia, an investigation is underway on a uh, fire involving two tour buses reportedly belonging to the crews for the rock bands Sticks and Foreigner. The video shows the fire starting in one bus and then spreading to another. There were no injuries reported on the scene. The bands are scheduled to perform together tonight in New Jersey. And in Iowa, a teenager who was swept into a storm during a storm drain during some severe weather there has now been found dead. Firefighters found the teen's body late Tuesday. He was in a lake more than a mile from the storm sewer. The 17 year old teen was with friends when the flooded storm drain sucked him in and under the water there. Another teen was pulled into that same storm drain by the fast moving water, but they survived. And it was an early 4th of July for the president and the first lady. Yesterday, they spent the day celebrating with a, more than 1,000 military personnel and their families at the White House. They enjoyed an Independence Day barbecue on the White House South Lawn, and later they watched fireworks on the National Ball Mall. And if you live or if you've ever been in Texas, you know cowboy boots are a thing there. And if you're ever elected governor of Texas, you better plan on wearing those boots your entire term in office, or you'll face sharp criticism from guys like Texas Land Commissioner Jerry Patterson. In reference to Governor Rick Perry's recent decision to stop wearing cowboy boots because of back pain, Patterson told the Austin American Statesman that, quote, tell Rick that boots can be purchased with normal heels. I lament the fact that our governor could now pass for a West Coast metrosexual and has embarrassed us all by his sartorial change of direction. You may have noticed Rick Perry's new glasses, maybe a change in clothing, etc. Well, Patterson called Perry's back pain reasoning a feeble excuse. Patterson also say there's lots of good reasons to wear boots. The convenience of just having white socks in your drawers. Also know they're convenient for carrying knives and small guns and other unmentionables, perhaps a flask. He also talked about the BYIB, bring it in your boot campaign. <laughs> this guy sounds like a character. Uh, boots, the commissioner also wrote, protect against various ankle biters of different differing species. And, and again, no need for shoelaces there, Jimmy. Now, as one who uh, served an elective office from Arizona, the youngest of the 48 contiguous states, I can tell you that cowboy boots, were, we didn't wear them all the time in Washington, but on 4th of July parade occasions, we would all be out in our boots, but come on now. I mean, the land commissioner needs to cut the gov some slack. He hurt his back. It doesn't mean he's placing a prohibition on boots. It's just that occasionally he'll put on a pair of loafers. And if truth be told, another former Texas governor, George W. Bush, and I've seen this firsthand sure. as he was uh, changing into business attire aboard Air Force One. Not that I was like sitting there with my mouth agape, <laughs> but he put on some very stylish loafers. They were not cowboy boots. Well, there's a there's a, a time for loafers and a time for cowboy boots. And uh, I interviewed Rick Perry about a year ago, and he was wearing some shoes. And I hope the governor's not offended by this, but I don't think anybody would wear those shoes unless they were otherwise directed by a doctor. Not exactly the most you know stylish thing. So, so you mean he was in cooking. orthopedic shoes? Now, like the, the secrets we are telling, and they were stylish all the same, but still very comfortable looking, and something you probably wouldn't wear unless you had to. Now, as I understand, we have another se not so secret to reveal a calendar. Yeah, we, we talked right? about this in the beginning. Now, we mentioned the fact that today is July third, of course, and in the VA. A lot of folks might think it's actually Independence Day. Take a look at this real quickly. The VA can't seem to stay out of the news, even with something as simple as a calendar. About 357,000 VA calendars mistakenly show today, July 3rd, as Independence Day, noting that VA outpatient clinics are closed today in observance of the holidays. Really disappointing, J.D., when so many veterans are trying to get care. Maybe somebody saw this in the calendar and said, look, I can't go today. I really need to go down there today. I should go down there, but I can't because it's closed. I mean... Well, the, the problem is, of course, with all the money for the VA and, and the, the, the bureaucrats said, hey, we can't go back and reprint, reprint the calendars because of the cost involved. Hey, yeah. listen, you just need prevention, a proofreader. We talked well, about Ben Franklin earlier. An ounce, uh, of, pre an ounce of prevention right. worth a pound of cure. You bet. All right, more to come here on America's Forum. Weigh in on any of these talkable stories we mentioned here today. <laughs> what do you think about Rick Perry's change from cowboy boots to more comfortable 
utilitarian shoes. Reach out to us on social media. Find us at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. Connect at NewsmaxTV.com or reach out to us on Facebook, facebook.com backslash there, America's Forum. We'll get to your comments coming up in about 10 or 15 minutes. We'll be back with more here on America's Forum on Newsmax TV as we roll on.